Hey, it's Darnell with D Grill. Got myself a 23 pound turkey right there that I'm gonna be smoking for a long time on my Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone pellet smoker. Got myself some of my favorite turkey brine here that's fire flavor, uh, turkey perfect apple sage brine mix. I'm gonna bring you back after um, I've got the brine all made up and I'm, uh, you know, got the turkey out of all the packaging just before I put it in the brine. I'll bring you back then and just show you the turkey at that time. Right now things are uh, complete and thawing out and all. I still gotta get the brine put together and all. It's been thawing for days. So I'll bring you back later. So here's our turkey out of its uh, cryo bag. Pat it down with some tiles just to uh, dry it off a little bit. Um, I always like to mention Never rely on that uh, turkey thermometer there. It's never good. Always use your own meat thermometer. So I got my brine. I've got a uh, extra quart of water. I got a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to be using some apple juice, but not just any apple juice in this brine. As you can see, it's honey crisp style apple juice. So the good stuff. And I'm also going to be putting some ice in the brine bag too. And so I'll leave it in the refrigerator basically about 24 hours. I mean it's a 23 pound turkey so it'll be in there 23, 24 hours. But I'll bring you back um, after it's done it's brining time. Okay so it's the next morning. The uh, turkey has been brining for uh, pretty much uh, 24 hours, about 23 and a half hours. So about an hour a pound and I'm going to I've got it um, breast side down right now I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with some I've got extra virgin olive oil if you have uh, regular virgin olive oil that's fine but I'm gonna coat it with some oil and then I'm gonna put some uh, poultry seasoning all over it and I will say you know this poultry seasons okay but if you know something better use it if you know one better than that um, and cover it with some poultry seasoning. I'm going to truss the uh, wings and you know get everything that's hanging out tight and good. And then uh, I've already got it kind of staged in the turkey rack. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick it on the uh, on the pellet grill, pellet smoker, the Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone. And I'm going to cook it to start at 185. I'm going to smoke it for eight hours at 185. Then later I'll bump the temperature up a bit to like maybe 275. But it's a pretty early morning here. I'm going to just go ahead real quick give you that weather report. Because uh, it's very early. It's still dark outside. It's like just after 7. And uh, the Hurricane Florence is kind of off to the east in North Carolina. So we're praying for the folks in North Carolina. Also speaking of prayers, uh, pray for baby, baby back mini dad youtuber baby back maniac um, his family's going through some stuff now his dad's got a lymphoma situation they just learned of so uh, be sure to pray for them and you know check out his channel it's a pretty good channel but for the weather report today right now it's mostly clear 73 degrees humidity 87 percent wind speeds just four miles an hour our forecast for the day is that it's going to eventually get up to 91 degrees with a real field then of 98 degrees and wind will only pick up to maybe 9 miles an hour gust only about 14 miles an hour but uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to get started preparing this turkey getting it all set and I'll bring you back once it's all uh, prepared alright so I've got the turkey all uh, prepared oiled and uh, rubbed and whatnot I'm going to flip it over in that uh, turkey holder there before I put it on the grill but I'll do that uh, probably off camera just flip it and when you see it again it'll be going on to the grill but for now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the grill started up so uh, turn the grill on and gonna get it set to that 185 degree mark to start so got it at 185 once the grill gets up the temp I will bring you on back and we'll be putting it on the grill. Alright, here comes our turkey. 
I've got them covered in the foil because it's very humid. So the first hour we want to keep it covered in foil. After that, I'm going to be spraying it with apple juice every hour. I'm going to get it and drag onto the grill. I will say, um, what was Hurricane Florence is now a tropical storm with an eye over South Carolina. So in my cooking plan, I got to trust up in there good. I'm going to leave that covered good with the foil. I'm going to close that up. Now I've got a profile I'm going to be using for this cook. <clears throat> so basically the profile is that of course we're going to start at 185 for 8 hours and then I've just kind of got a 15 minute intermission where I'm going to turn the turkey over and insert some meat probes in the breast and the thigh. I'm going to insert the Green Mountain Grills probe into the breast. I'm going to use the um, I grill two <clears throat> to have a probe in that thigh so I can monitor both the breast and the thigh. I'm going to let the breast meat get up to 155 degrees and at that point I'm going to mop up, mop on some butter while the temp goes up to 275 degrees. After that, once that breast meat gets to 160 degrees, I'm going to be uh, taking a look at that thigh. I want that thigh to also be at 160 degrees. But whenever both are at about 160, then I'm going to remove it from the grill and let it rest in full for 30 minutes. So I've kind of got to remove and rest for 30 minutes point. But I've also got under that just to check the thigh. You know, keep it running, check the thigh, make sure that's also 160 before I take it off. So this got eight hours to go, and I'll bring you back later. All right, we're just an hour into the smoking, and I'm going to take that foil off. So I'm going to open it up this foil off of here and I'm going to spritz it with some apple juice. You put that foil on the first hour when it's high humidity so that you don't get a bunch of soot all over your bird. So when it's high humidity and you're smoking, put a little foil on for that first hour. I'm going to adjust my sprayer a little bit just so it's gives more of a spritz spray. There we go. good with the apple juice. All right, it's got seven hours to go. I'll uh, let it continue smoking and spritzing it every hour with some apple juice. All right, so the eight hours of smoking has come to an end. It's time to move on to the next step in this cook. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to stick the Green Mountain Grills meat probe into the breast meat because I want to have that Wi-Fi capability to keep track of that. And I'm going to take the I grill 2 meat probe, stick it into the thigh, because I want to make sure that thigh meat is getting uh, nice and hot too. So I'm going to move along here. And flip this turkey over. It's beautiful. Give me a nice thick piece of breast meat. Stick it down in there. Stick this other probe down in that thigh. Close it up. Now I'm going to uh, have a quick look at the temperatures of the meat. Alright, so our breast meat is at 138 degrees. Once it gets to 155, I'll throw some butter on. All right, our thigh meat is at 140 degrees. So we know we're between 138, 140 overall in this turkey. And so having this eye grill along with the Green Mountain Grills app makes for a nice way to be able to keep track of more temperatures more accurately. So. Uh, and let this keep cooking. I'll bring you back when it's about 155 and uh, we'll continue on from there. I also wanted to mention I'm using Traeger Applewood pellets for this cook. So far I've been using Traeger Applewood and I think I may have enough to get to the end of this cook with the Traeger Applewood.
butter helps to enhance the flavor a lot. The skin is already, you know, pretty crispy, but this just helps enhance that flavor a bit. All right, so the uh, breast meat has reached 160. I'm going to take it in. I'm going to try and wrap it up good before I take it in. I may wrap it up some more after I get it in. But once I get it inside, well, I guess once I take it out here, I'm going to take the iGrow 3, I mean, iGrow 2 Meat Pro, which is reading like 193 or something crazy like that. And uh, I'm going to put that into the breast meat to try and keep track of that breast meat as it rises up to 165. Could have started it there, but I I wanted to be able to get a Wi-Fi look at it. So I'm just going to take this uh, probe out the breast meat there. It's like hemorrhaging fluid now. I'm just going to put, uh, put that iGrill 2 probe in there so I can keep my eye on it as it rises. I'm going to take this in, try and wrap it up better. Once I get it inside, let that temperature keep rising. I'll get this grill turned off a little bit, a little bit, but uh, I'll see you inside after I get it in. All right, let me explain what's going on here. Um, when I've done this with other turkeys, you can uh, basically take them off at 160 and wrap them up in full and they rise up to 165 internally, being wrapped in that full, even at room temperature. And I've done that with like 13 pound turkeys and such, but for this 23 pound turkey, that's not working. It's gotten up to about 163, 162, but it's not getting to that safe temp of 165. So this turkey's going right back on, wrapped in foil. Just gonna let it rise up to 165 and then take it off. So, put it in now. Be right back in a few degrees. All right, it took about 11 and a half hours and it's reached that uh, goal of 165 after 11 and a half total hours of cooking, turning this eye grill two off. And uh, I will say before anyone asks, why did I not just put it in the oven to finish it off? Why did I bring it outside to put it back on the grill to finish it off? And I'll say that's because that's the way I like it. That's why I did that. So um, I'm going to take this inside. I'm just going to give it a moment to rest inside and then we'll start doing some cutting, plating, and taste testing. All right, so our 23 pound turkey smoked for 11 and a half hours. And uh, I used those Traeger Applewood pellets. I never had to use more than that one bag of Traeger Applewood pellets. So didn't even take a full bag. And after I had filled it to start, I only added pellets two more times after that and I was never really super low when I um, refilled them. I like to fill them before the pellet alarm goes off but I did fill it up twice and most of what I put in there the second time is still out there in the hopper. So I'm going to go ahead and do a cut. You can see this looks very very nice. I'm going to try and uh, let's see you can cut this side here where you can see. Just going to cut down this part here, just to get myself a slice. Just get my can of a slice out of there. Get over there on the plate, and just uh, cut a couple pieces off there. Maybe just taste the skin too, I don't know. But I'll grab myself a fork and uh, get the camera swapped around and then be time to do a taste test. All right, smoked turkey straight from the Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone pellet smoker. You see that uh, meat looks nice and pink. Let's taste it. One more. just to try the skin. Turk 
turkey is super moist. Turkey tastes great, tastes the smoke, tastes the brine, it's all that. So, this recipe and others you can find at dgrillsmoke.com, on Twitter at dgrillsmoke, Instagram dgrillsmoke. Be a lot of pictures of uh, this cook going up on Instagram not too long after the video comes out on YouTube. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can share the video with your friends, please. Leave your comments. I'd like to hear what you think about, hear about some of your experiences as well cooking turkeys, especially large turkeys like this one. As you saw with this one, you know, the, some of the rules had to be changed a little bit. I think it's probably pretty good to just wrap it up in full and just leave it out there and let it finish that last five degrees after you wrap it up instead of trying to bring a big one like this inside to try and heat up internally inside. So, uh, Definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not already and good eating.